My favorite thing about it is everything about it. Hey, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hey, how's it going? All right, I've had this Jazz Master for over a year now. I thought it would be time to do a little quick follow-up video. Talk about it. What is it? It's a guitar, obviously, but it's a, it's a special one. It's a special one in my collection. It's one of my favorite guitars. This is a, a 2020, uh, well, Fender 2020 limited edition. Okay, let's start again. It, no, no. This is a 2020 limited edition Fender American Jazzmaster in skyburst metallic with an all rosewood neck. That's a pretty guitar. Now, I know Jazzmasters aren't for everybody. Some people don't like the the shape of the body or the tones or whatever, but I've always had a thing for jazz masters. Mainly because of Radiohead, I've always been a fan. Um, from that, basically. So what makes this one unique? Well, the styling, it's really different looking, I think. It's mainly the rosewood neck though. These all rosewood Fender American necks are something special. It's hard to describe it. You have to actually feel one in person. Best way to, that I can try to describe it is it's warm feeling to the touch and it's smooth and it feels worn in. It feels like an old neck that's been played for a long time. It's kind of a raw feeling, a little bit satiny. It's, it's weird. It's this combination of so many different feelings stuck together. And it's, uh, they're heavy too, they're solid. If you ever get the chance to, to see one in person and, and you know, go grab it and pick it up and feel it, see what I'm talking about. Kind of has a little bit of oily, oily feeling, but at the same time not. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, another difference with this, with this Jazz Master, what makes it unique compared to like well, when this one came out, it was in the fall of 2020, Fender hadn't released their American Pro 2 stuff yet, so there's a Pro 2 Jazz Master. And what makes this one unique is it's got a three-way selector. It doesn't have all the other switches that you typically find on a Jazz Master. A normal Jazz Master would, would have like another uh, selector switch up here that does like a rhythm and, and uh, I can't even remember, it's too confusing. <laughs> I like simple. I like simple things. I like keeping things simple. Maybe that's what I meant to say. Uh, Three-way selector switch. One volume, one tone. And it's got this cool trim. That does, it's like a two-way trim. You can go up or down, or you can lock it. It's got like a locking feature that just allows it to go down. Really, really neat. Not string through. Uh, quite unique. Almost heavy, I'd say. It's like eight pounds. That's pretty much my uh, threshold when it comes to guitars. Uh, pickups are two single coil vintage 64. Pure vintage 64. You got to make sure you say that. Get the names right. My favorite position is the middle. Um, there's definitely a lot of noise in, you know, the middle is a, a hum, hum canceling. Hum canceling. Middle is a hum canceling, basically. If you're in the the neck or the bridge, you get you get some noise. That's uh, inherent with the pure vintage '64 and the the single coil tones. But get some cool effects. Cool, you can get some cool sounds. Is what I meant to say. This is my guitar that I like to play with a lot of reverb and a lot of like delay and stuff like that, like a trippy kind of. And yeah, it's one of my favorite guitars of all time. Unfortunately, if you ever wanted to get one, you'd have to probably find it on the used market. Yeah, it's it's kind of a one of a kind, one off thing. Maybe they'll do another reissue of it. I don't know. I like the simplicity. That's my favorite thing and the way it looks and everything and everything. I like everything. That's my favorite. My favorite thing about it is everything about it. If you like Jazz Masters or if you've tried one of these or if you've tried a Rosewood Neck or anything, if you just want to say hey and chat in the comments, do it. 
All right, that's going to do it for now. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.